opportunity you and your teammates have this week uh, playing here at Showcase in front of the decision makers? Obviously a great opportunity for us as a team and individuals, but more so as a team. I have to come off a hard uh, road trip, you know, being on the road for a while, drop some games in which we put it out back. We really knew we had to come into this game, and it was a must win for us, not just for the environment, but, you know, just for our team trying to get on a roll. And guys really came out and fought hard. We faced a lot of adversity today, but at the end of the day, we got a victory, and, you know, we're still in this tournament-type atmosphere, so we get to play on in advance. Individually, what are you trying to show in these, you know, two, three games uh, yeah. to the scouts? Um, just everything I've really been trying to work on. You know, after getting let go by Golden State, just really trying to continue to develop my offensive game, but more so on the defensive end. Just trying to be a guy that can guard multiple positions, block shots, just be a sound defender, and then obviously rebound the ball. Yeah. Is this that how you see kind of your game tonight? You know, it wasn't a ton of points, but, but you were active. Yeah, definitely. Place. I mean, I feel like I'm definitely able to score the ball, but, you know, it's tough to get a rhythm tonight. On and off the court, you know, I wasn't really playing that great defense, packing guys out there. But at the end of the day, I really just try to get myself, you know, into the game by just playing good defense, getting my teammates open on the other end, and just getting second chance points and stuff like that. Was it beneficial to play Canton twice before the showcase? Yes, yeah, that was huge. You know, definitely just coming into this atmosphere, knowing that we had already played them. The only guy they added was Alex Kirk. So the biggest thing for us was, you know, just trying to get our rest after coming off of a long road trip. And then really just trying to mentally lock in. Our coaches did a phenomenal job of getting us ready this morning. And then uh, it was all about execution out there. And, I mean, we had them by 20 at one point, but they're a great team. They fought back. And that's a deal league, but a win is a win. Walker is a big physical guy. Yeah. You moved through this guy a little bit of trouble early on. Yeah. How did you adapt to him down low? Um, obviously, I didn't because I fouled out. But at the end of the day, you just got to realize certain guys and their tendencies. We really tried to. Um, really forced him into taking hard shots, not getting the ball down too low. I think Kuz did a wonderful job, especially in the second half, you know, but more so coming in the second quarter and then the rest of the game, really just adjusting to how the rest are calling the game and how Alan Walker wants to play. James, are there any, uh, any North Carolina alums or other guys that in the league that you look to for advice and guidance in the young part of your career? Yeah, um, Harrison is a huge guy, you know, more so when I was at UNC. He was a guy that, you know, really mentored me and uh, really taught me a lot of things about, you know, being off the court, you know, my work ethic on the court as well. And I obviously had the opportunity to go to Golden State this preseason and do training camp with them. It was huge. And, you know, we still talk, you know, catch up, you know, every now and then. So, um, God willing, one day I'll be able to play with him up there. But at the end of the day, you know, he's doing his thing, I'm doing my thing. But, you know, we definitely stay in contact. And he definitely, you know, um, is in my corner just like I'm in his corner. Having been on both ends, talk about the, the relationship between Golden State and Santa Cruz. Um, it's great. I feel like we play for the best. I feel like Santa Cruz is, you know, the best D league organization. And, you know, in my position when I didn't get drafted and then I went to Summer League with Golden State, I knew that farther down the road I could end up here. So, first off, to get that invitation to training camp, I knew that that was definitely a possibility. You know, having offers to go play overseas. You know, we're ample, they were there, but at the end of the day, I want to play in the NBA. And I feel like this is the greatest opportunity. If I didn't make the Golden State team to come down here and play with the coaches and, you know, be in this program where, you know, they also, you know, really are known for having a good relationship with Golden State, but other teams getting guys into the NBA.